Okay. Big Mama, come on. Stay with me. Eva, I need you. Oh, is that you? Mother's work is never done. The Metal Gear franchise has long been known for its nostalgic references and outright flashback sequences to iconic moments from previous games in the series. And there's no denying that if there's one title from the franchise that holds the throne when it comes to all this, it's Metal Gear Solid 4. This is the room where we first met, huh? Yeah. Fuck on! Come on! Pull yourself together! Enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. That's right. We need you. I'm done crying. I don't have any more tears to shed. I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> Bringing forth a massive reunion for characters from both Salt Snake and Big Boss's timelines, MGS4 did right what was expected from it. It took fans on a roller coaster ride of nostalgic set pieces that felt just awesome for longtime fans of the series. However, even the greatest of creators can sometimes face challenges during their project's development that, for one reason or another, keeps them from releasing the true form of what they originally envisioned. That thing finished. No, this is only the end of phase one. This is Python Selkin, welcoming you to yet another Metal Gear Solid video. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, for today's video, we'll be going back to Eastern Europe in the year 2014, otherwise known as the third act in Metal Gear Solid 4, where we see Solid Snake finally meeting his own mother, or thoroughly speaking, the woman who gave birth to him as the surrogate mother behind the Les Enfants Terrible project, Big Mama who fans may remember as Eva from MGS3. Ever since the game was released, Metal Gear fans had mixed feelings about this act in particular, with some praising it for the major revelations it held, and others who thought Act 3 focused more on cutscenes rather than gameplay. Now let's be honest, Act 3 was practically a movie, showing off some of the best-looking cutscenes and plot-defining moments the series ever saw. Not to mention the game itself was titled for this exact moment. While the majority of MGS4 gives you the possibility to sneak your way towards your objective or to eliminate everyone in all-out action, Act 3's intriguing change of pace has stealth making a definite comeback as Snake slowly tails a resistance member through the streets of Eastern Europe, all the way to a secret hideout belonging to Eva and her Paradise Lost army that follows with a series of cutscenes that has Eva revealing the truth to Solid Snake. Liquid is after Big Boss's body. Is it here? I'll take you to meet him. Alright, maybe not everything was true. This is Metal Gear we're talking about. After Eva's hideout is exposed thanks to the trench coat wearing scarabs, Act 3 follows with a full blown motorcycle chase that has Snake riding with Eva, reminiscent of the iconic motorcycle chase scene with Big Boss and Eva in MGS3. <laughs> The reminiscence actually doesn't stop there, since very much like MGS3, Eva is once again injured by a piercing object, with her injury leading her to see memories of Big Boss instead of her son, Salt Snake. Big Mama! 
Even more flashbacks are experienced when Snake gears up to fight off Raging Raven, as Eva asks him to promise her that he'll return, just as she once did to her love interest in younger years, Naked Snake. But come back in one piece, okay? Come back in one piece. I will. Promise me! In other words, this sequence is filled with beautiful nostalgia for Metal Gear fans. The only downside to all this is that once Raging Raven is defeated, Act 3's gameplay finishes right there and then, with Snake and Eva heading towards the underground waterway, and in the form of cutscenes, the two immediately encounter Ocelot and the gang on the other side. Eva's about to descend into the underground waterway, she tells Snake that there should be fewer enemies down there. There should be fewer of them down there. It's because, intriguingly enough, this cutscene was originally meant to lead players to an entire level of gameplay into the underground waterway, where apparently, thanks to something that we'll elaborate on further on, several enemies are alerted to Snake and Big Mama's presence, right before the moment Mother and Son are confronted by Liquid Ocelot, and the whole Guns of the Patriot sequence begins. Father's favorite. What do you say? Care for one last smoke? Huh. You think you're a big boss now? Data mined sound files from the game have revealed that this level was planned to feature Old Snake protecting Big Mama from geckos and plenty of other enemies, as the two make their way to the other side of the waterway, with Snake also having to restore Big Mama's life by providing her food along the way. A level that would have been very much reminiscent of this particular gameplay sequence from Metal Gear Solid 3, which had Naked Snake watching over an injured Eva as the two avoided the troops while they moved into the jungle towards the lake, just before Snake confronted the boss. It is intriguing to note that a particular map called Tomb of Tubes that was released as part of the Gene Expansion DLC in MGS4's Metal Gear Online mode had introduced us to an underground waterway that served as a sewer labyrinth with multiple passageways. A map that would have been close to, or could in fact have been the very same one that was meant to be used during this part of the story. Unfortunately for us fans though, this level never saw the light of day when it comes to the main storyline, leaving us fans with just traces of what could have been through extracted codec calls between Old Snake and Archon, unused audio files that have been buried in the game's Blu-ray disc since its release in the year 2008. Let's have a listen, as well as a showcase of the map that could have been featured as part of the main storyline if this level was never deleted. Follow that underground waterway to the rendezvous point by the river. If you follow the flow of the water, it should come out right near the rendezvous point. I'm picking up multiple gecko in the area, but it's still better than the reception they've got waiting for you up top. Just remember, Big Mama's in bad shape. Be ready for anything, and keep her safe. Got that? Snake, we've got a problem. I detected some unusual enemy movements, so I ran some scans. It turns out Big Mama's emitting a beacon signal from her body. In other words, they've got a bead on our position. I wasn't detecting any signal before you left the hideout which means it must have somehow been planted before you got to the waterway. The sniper. Sniper? Yeah, it must have been the bullet. It seemed more like she got hit by an ultra-low velocity slug than a high-velocity FMJ round. You can tell? I've got a sense for these things. The slug that buried itself in Big Mama must have been carrying a capsule containing signal-emitting nanomachines. So what now? How do we get the nanomachines to stop broadcasting our location? Try those nanomachine-suppressing hypos Naomi gave you. 
She said they can help reduce nanomachine activity in the body. They ought to work on the nanos inside Big Mama, too. It's worth a try. Hurry! Remember when Big Mama's hit by a sniper during the motorcycle chase sequence? Ever wondered why she doesn't seem to be heavily injured despite such a direct shot? It's because, as it turns out, this underground waterway level was meant to explain how through that sniper's bullet, Big Mama was implanted with a capsule that emits signals from her body, making it easier for the enemies to track them later on during this particular level. Snake was meant to remove Big Mama's nanomachine signals via Naomi's suppressing shots, similar to what we did during Vamp's battle in Shadow Moses. The cool notion behind this is very much reminiscent of the scene in Metal Gear Solid 3, where we see Eva removing a tracking device, or otherwise known as a transmitter, that was planted into Big Boss's back. An optional cutscene that shows up if players don't remove it themselves before. Only this time, Eva is the one with the tracking device inside her. A transmitter. Do it in the KGB. Sometimes. Would you rather I did it American style? Snake, use the syringe you got from Naomi. Inject Big Mama with a nanomachine suppressant. To give someone a shot, equip the syringe and capture the target using CQC. Then, when the signal appears, just press the action button. You've got to inject Big Mama with the nanomachine suppressant. That was it, Snake! The instant you gave Big Mama that shot, the signal faded away. By now, it's completely shut down. The drug inside Naomi's hypos is suppressing the nanomachines inside the body. That ought to throw the enemy off the trail for now. Be careful, though. Don't let them get another trace on you. Get through there as fast as you can and get to Big Boss's body. Botacon, this place is crawling with rats. What, you were expecting a more vermin-free underground waterway? Something's weird about the way they're moving. Like they're avoiding something or trying to get away. Hmm. First the birds helped me out in South America. Now it's the rats' turn. If you get out of this alive, you should consider a donation to the ASPCA. Hmm. I'll think about it. Snake, pay attention to the rat's movements. They'll help you figure out where the gecko are. Snake, what are you killing rats for? Torturing small animals is a sign of a warped mind, you know? Leave them alone and get back to helping Big Mama, all right? There's water flowing just below that opening. You're in good shape, so it wouldn't be a big deal for you to fall in. But Big Mama, on the other hand, there's a guardrail to keep that from happening. But if she gets knocked back by enemy attacks, there's no guarantee it'll hold her. Take good care of Big Mama and make sure she doesn't fall in, okay? Snake, you've got to protect Big Mama from enemy attacks. We can't afford to lose her. The enemy's targeting Big Mama. She's in grave danger. It's your job to protect her. Got that? What the hell are you thinking? Attacking Big Mama like that? Whatever happened to respecting your elders? Oh, for God's sake. Snake, what's gotten into you? Don't you harm another hair on her head. Not one, got it? Snake, why you? Oh! Snake. You've got to restore Big Mama's life. Select whatever food you've got in the item window, equip it, stand in front of her, and then press the action button. That'll get her life back up. Big Mama looks like she's in bad shape. She needs help fast. Time to take responsibility for what you've done. Right, Snake? To restore Big Mama's life, equip some food, stand in front of her, and press the action button. Hurry and get her life back up. Looks like that watertight door leads to another part of this underground waterway. Yeah, how about that? You'll need to vary your route now and then to avoid being spotted. Those doors should come in handy. To open a watertight door, stand in front of it and press the action button. The handle came off? Huh, it looks like they didn't do a very good job of maintaining these things. There's no handle on the door? That place isn't exactly well maintained, is it? 
I did some sniffing around with the Mark II, and there seems to be a route that'll take you around to the other side of the door. You might just be able to open the door from the other side. It's worth a shot anyway. Snake, by opening that gate and letting the water out, you should reduce the risk of being seen by the gecko on the other side. Do you see a handle anywhere that might do that? If you find it, try giving it a spin. This isn't good, Snake. They've deployed Gecko armed with chemical weapons. Get out of there, pronto! You're not carrying a gas mask with you. One lungful of that gas and you're a goner. If there's a chance you could be hit with a gas attack, clear the area immediately. Got that? Head for the rendezvous point. Stay out of the enemy's sight. When you've made sure the coast is clear, let Big Mama know it's okay to move on. Press the action button to give her the signal. The rendezvous point is downstream. Follow the water's flow. Snake, you can't lead Big Mama to safety when the enemy's after you like this. Get their alert level down a notch first. You did good. I concentrated on your heartbeat. It reminded me of when I was a kid. Considering that the series is no stranger to these kind of gameplay sequences, aside from the fact that some fans might have mixed reactions on escorting missions in particular, this level would have certainly brought a further change of pace to the game's overall gameplay. Not to mention an even greater nostalgia factor to the already long list of callbacks MGS4 has to previous games in the series. Whether it's in remembrance to Big Boss and Eva's MGS3 sequence in comparison to Mother and Son. Eva, I need you. Oh, is that you? Is Keith fell in the drainage ditch. Snake running in the drainage ditch to retrieve the Pelkey in Shadow Moses, with of course MGS1's traditional follow the mice scenario. If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. And last but not least, Snake would have encountered Ocelot at the end of Big Mama's escort level. Just as we encountered the boss at the end of Eva's escort sequence in MGS3. In relation with the theme of mother and son, and the series' recurring theme of history repeating itself. My child was snatched away from me by the philosophers. All they can do is repeat the same pattern over and over again. Being the final game for this legendary hero's timeline, Metal Gear Solid 4 held the crucial responsibility to conclude a long time storyline and plenty of important character arcs, being one of those games that fans will continue to appreciate as more years go by. Having said that, anyone who remembers MGS4's release may also know that the game suffered development delays back in the day. Unfortunately, there are certain moments when games can be hard to develop, and even more when a new console utilizes new technology which development teams have to adapt to, such as the case with the PS3 cell processor at the time. So what now? How do we get the nanomachines to stop broadcasting our location? Hearing all this unused dialogue, and knowing that we could have had an even longer game, is undoubtedly painful for many MGS fans out there. On the other hand, time constraints can be challenging on numerous occasions, not to mention that to fit one giant movie that was MGS4, along with all the innovative gameplay and complexities, into one dual-layered Blu-ray disc, potentially meant sacrifices from Kojima's original vision had to be made, such as this long-forgotten level, which despite holding great potential, had to be deleted from our final experience. Still, never say never. Perhaps one day we'll get to experience Kojima's true vision for the game with an upcoming remaster or remake, or perhaps a director's cut for Guns of the Patriots. We'll just have to wait and see what the new generation of consoles have in store for us. I still have things left to do. <laughs> Besides smoke.
this brings us to the end of another Metal Gear Solid video. We hope you enjoyed our little trip back to Eastern Europe after all these years. We look forward to seeing you again very soon. If you enjoy watching our Metal Gear content, let us know by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We'll make sure to return the favor with content you won't find anywhere else. Thank you all for watching. Until we meet again, Python and Selkin, out. His altered state of consciousness has helped us implant powerful suggestions through induced hypnagogia. Manipulating memories, it's nothing new in my line of work. He'll be your face on the world stage, until the time comes for your resurgence.